In this video, we are going to perform a calibration of the camera for Honda LKAS Lane Keep Assist System. We will be using the SCT 415 Target and the Encore or Evolve Scan Tool. Before getting started with the calibration process, we must first perform some tasks. Clean the windshield, especially in the area around the onboard camera. Make sure all the tires are inflated to the proper pressure. Make sure the fuel tank is full. Remove all the cargo from the vehicle's trunk, except for the spare tire in the toolkit. Make sure there are no objects other than the target boards in front of the vehicle. No checkerboard patterns in line of sight. Eliminate extra ambient lighting by closing the garage door and possibly covering up windows. This graphic shows the general requirements for laying out the target board in front of the vehicle, both length, width, and distance. Determine the wheel center markers by moving the front centering stand to the right front wheel. The front centering stand has the level on the centering target and two dowel pins on the aluminum stand. Using the laser from the target stand, place it on the plate with the laser pointing towards the wheel on the front stand, aligning the two dowel pins. With the arrow of the base pointing away from the wheel, turn on the laser to find the center of the wheel. Raise or lower the centering target to align the black tongue underneath the lip of the fender. Level the centering stand using the level on the centering target. Now let us line the rear centering stand. The rear centering stand has the level on the aluminum plate and one dowel pin. Install the laser on the aluminum plate aligning the single dowel pin. This will allow for pivoting to find true center. Raise or lower the centering target to line the black tongue underneath the lip of the fender. Level the centering stand using the level on the centering target. Turn on the laser and pivot to find the bullseye of the target on the front wheel centering stand. Now let us determine the distance of the target stand from the front of the vehicle. With the laser light turned on at the rear wheel centering stand, measure from the front centering stand out 300 centimeters or 118.11 inches and mark your location with masking tape. Now that we have determined the distance of the target on one side of the vehicle, let's determine the distance of the target on the opposite side of the vehicle. To do that, we're going to complete the exact same steps we just did. Now we are going to determine the center line mark for the target stand. Measure the distance from the two marks you made at 300 centimeters from the front wheel centering stands. Divide the distance by two and find the center between the two marks. Mark the center. Let's go ahead and set up the target stand. Move the horizontal target bar to the center position of the stand. Put the laser unit in horizontal centering position and connect the safety wire cable. Turn on the laser. Move the target stand to the center mark located between the two reference marks you made earlier. Align the laser close to the reference marks that you made earlier. We are now going to level the target stand. The first thing to do is to take the horizontal target bar and bring it to its lowest point. Then take the three screws at the base of the stand and turn them to bring the bubble of the spirit level to center. After leveling, check the horizontal alignment with the laser. Now we're going to center the target stand to the vehicle using the laser. To do that, we are going to bring the horizontal target bar up. Turn the angle setting screw to better align the laser to your reference marks. Make sure that both reference marks are aligned to the laser. Now we're going to do the fine adjustment of the crossbar according to the vehicle specific target height. Ensure that the ruler is touching the floor. Adjust the horizontal target bar to a height of 1200 millimeters using the ruler shown in the picture located on the left side of the horizontal target bar. Install the target board to the center position, aligning the dowel pins with the holes and the magnets and now connect the safety wire. Move the left and the right target board to the position of 138.8 centimeters. We must measure the vehicle ride height. Measure the distance to the ride height with the wheel arch using a tape measure. Measure from the ground to the top of the wheel arch. 
The right height you just measured will now be entered into the scan tool. We are going to use the scan tool to calibrate the camera. With the target in the center position, get ready to start the calibration and press continue. Now we're going to move the target to position number two or the left side. And we'll go back to the scan tool and press continue. For the final step of the calibration, we're going to move the target to position three or the right side. Once you've moved to the right side, go back to the scan tool and press continue. After a successful static camera calibration, you must perform a dynamic calibration to ensure proper operation. You must turn the key off, then on, and now go ahead and perform the dynamic calibration. We hope this video has helped streamline your calibration process and improve your efficiency.